home of entertainment commentary from British Lagoons. My name, this is of course the report card. Let's get started. Here we go. The report card. Brewing entertainment, honey. Wife material season two is officially upon us. <laughs> Woo! I looked at that lineup. I was like, actually, um, on second thought, I think season one. I I thought season one had all the ratchets. Hey, mama. <laughs> Season two. I think you know what when Eric told us that you know this time I'm serious. I I really need a wife. Know your line <laughs> because from what the lineup there, people it, it it just looks like again we're here to entertain you. Okay, so simmer down. I'm not looking for a girlfriend. I'm not looking for a wife. And the one thing that this whole thing screams is script. Like, you know, um, probably when the girls were sending in their little things or they were handpicked or some of them just fronted, I think they were told that, you see, in order for you to make it, this, 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 this is what we need from you. So, I sort of suspect that the one person that I, I'd personally maybe be watching is Gigi Money. You want to be in? I'm okay. in because I that shit. Yes, I like yes. that shit. So, <laughs> that, that, that shit. shit. Fuck your ass and what you want. Thank you. 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 Thank
Is he really looking for a wife? No. Eric is not looking for a wife. Come on, come on. I mean, if 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 anybody, and a lot of us, I even think that this time around, the men, the men, I, I caught some of them being so excited, talking about these hands from other countries. I don't know why. Why? But... You know, so is it going to be worth anybody watching it? Probably, probably if it is, if it's anything to go by. And now this, the particular ladies here look a bit, they look a bit more grown-ish, grown-ish compared to the cast Ilea Kwanza. So yeah, we'll be here for the drama. Listen, we, because that's, that's, that, that, that's what we signed up for. So let's just wait and see how this whole thing will unravel. But the minute I saw Gigi Mani here, I knew this thing scripted. I knew uh, there is nothing organic about this show, like what Eric had, you know, deceived us that other time that you see our uh, material season two will be absolutely hundred percent organic. Nothing, nothing like that. It's still drama, more drama, and now let's add to the Kikapu. We are doing East. Africa proper drama. So I tend to check if we later end up, but from what I'm suspecting, probably it will be an interesting watch. Oh, I've seen this video online doing rounds. I'm here to welcome you to our church, Christ Temple in Nairobi One. It's located along Shimola Tewa Road. Just type it, just type it on your Google Map. Put it uh, Christ Temple in Nairobi One, and it will bring you straight to our church. I love you all. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> Le général Tangote Le grand The babe is um tell you guys as in by this how you guys um I'm welcoming you to my church. So I was like, oh okay. The thing is, it's not even the welcoming um guys to church <clears throat> as polite. Is the fact that she walked away and her kapapalas were going like pala 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 and then the skirt was tight. It was like, you know, like when you're trying to get a promotion from your boss and you work in a banking hall and it's Friday and you know that, you know, today is my turn to finesse this nigga. This is what I'm going to wear. Or when you're trying to strike a deal in a boardroom full of men who are straight. This is what I'm aware. So, you know, when she walked away... <laughs> confusion came from and it was like so wait a minute what's happening are we really coming to church kulishwa neno or are we coming to church kulishwa narom takakitu because everything there just seemed a bit too strategic and too timely then when she noticed like guys were trying to come for her uh the babe posted this in her defense <laughs> And I don't understand why this would even be a topic of discussion because I innocently walked away. Nikawe, you've not found a proper church. You're just stepping like this. Like, you're and then when the church is done, you're summoned. Like, hey, hey, Sister Nika, come. We have to discuss. What are you wearing? Okay, and then I know, I understand that logic uh, behind everything where people say, you see, it's my body. It's not, it's not the body that's worshipping. It's rather the spirit. So people should be left to dress and to do whatever it is they damn well please. Was that dust trap necessary? Because that was a task trap. It was a task trap. Was that necessary, really? If you're really trying to welcome people in the house of the Lord, hmm, trying to get us to worship in spirit and in truth, was that part necessary of you? Peter in there with your kapapalas, that kavina, going like poof, poof, poof. In all honesty, 
um if we are really you know if we really want to be religious and we want to talk about these things in a very religious setting because i mean you 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 are welcoming guys to church the, the truth of the matter is the minute you walk that's why you might actually have been told like you need to dress in long skirts you need to scarf your hair you know you need to leave nothing to imagination so that you do not make a weaker brother or a weaker sister fall into sin because now you so listen the thing is if you and your faith like you're strong and you know that you know it's it's my body i love it and whatever i dress like does not affect my faith that's good for you but you need to understand that you're probably making a weaker sister or a weaker brother fault fault into sin because maybe kunandu watakuja pale amekuja kulishwa neno lakini akishaona kapapala the nigga is just like if i could just get in the mm, and just maybe eat it a bit and then probably the sisters after that they will have something to discuss during their chamber meetings like did you see whatever sister nika was wearing yes do you like it no she's probably sleeping with the pastor she's probably stealing our man she's probably this so all that I don't know if she owns the church or she just worships there, but eh, eh, mama, lesso, what? <laughs> you better not come where some of us worship because, oh, sister, ota funi kwa lesso kama tano, mbaka uku, uku, mbaka uku, and then after that, it's a meeting, sister Nika. Come to the office we need to talk so i don't know what you guys think like are you like you know what let the sister be it's just it's just clothing or you're like sister nika mm -mm. dress like that when you're going to a club or whatever but do not dress like that when you're trying to you know uh pitch this religious issue